This is the most overpowered weapon in the game. In fact, not only is this weapon really powerful, this weapon paired up with Nezuko's Blood Demon R is genuinely just an unstoppable combo. Yeah, On top of the fact that I have Kamado, which also makes it an unstoppable combo. Let me just show you guys. First, I'm going to demonstrate on a boss. And then after doing the boss, I'm going to demonstrate you guys how OP this combo is within PvP. I'm going to be fighting Sabito. Now, obviously, Sabito is going to get some hits off on me. The claw spin is like, look at his health going, bro. It, it really just chunks it down. All right, I messed up the combo there. Watch this. Knock him into you. Knock him up. Grab him. Grab him up again. Hit him with that. For some reason, that didn't connect and my spin went on cooldown. But if I connected that spin, Sabito would literally be dead. And you guys kind of get the gist of it. It's just really OP. Like, this is genuinely OP. Look at how easy that was. Now I'm going to show you this within PvP. But before we actually do that, the claws is so good. Now, how you obtain these claws is, before the game release, you were able to get these claws just through grinding bosses. It used to be a, a droppable item. You could grind it through chests. But now, in order to get this claw, you have to defeat demons. And every time you defeat a demon, it will give you a demon horn. And once you have 250 demon claws, you have to come all the way over here. Now you guys should know where this is because I showed you guys the location of this area in my guide video. So you're gonna run up the, the ramp. You guys should all know how to get here by now. And you're gonna come and talk to the old man over here. Well, you don't need to talk to the old man. You just need to run up to the claws and purchase them. Would you like to buy claws for 250 demon horns? Yeah, it's pretty tedious. You're going to have to grind the game for a pretty long time. I'm not too sure why they took it off being a droppable item. It's kind of lame. It's really good. It does more damage than your normal fist that you'll be using with your blood demon art. It's a must have. These claws are a must have. Now let's actually go straight into PVP so I can show you guys how it works there. All right, so now we are currently in a PVP match. I don't know the clan of the guy I'm fighting that is important, but from the looks of it, he has lightning. So let's actually just get it started. Vroom. Get it started, vroom. Oh, comboed him a bit too much. Now he's gonna have the one up on me. Do I eat those last two? Cause it breaks the. Oh, messed up there. It's all good though. I should be fine for that. Oh, he knows that combo. Okay, okay, okay. I see you shining. Damn, he reached that? All right, let's try that again. Like, let's actually try that again, but this time properly. Not too sure how that skills balance. All right. Kill him, eat his stuff, and we're gonna regen the rest of our health here. As simple as that. I'm gonna do this, do that, and spin straight away. Look at it chunking up his health. I blocked there, but okay. Game didn't want to register that for some reason. Not gonna lie, by the time you're able to actually use the Q button, you've already kind of ran out of health. Not too sure if they want to buff that or not. Then yeah, we're gonna punish him for that. 
block break. It's gonna dash to me. Still able to land that because the stun is too long. Oh, he doesn't have max breathing. Interesting. So we're gonna back up a bit, regen. Click on that, drink it. Why? Because we're cheesing. Whilst he's probably busy breathing, we're gonna do that. Eat. We're gonna run away a little bit so we can actually regen health. Okay, we can't regen over there. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna wait for him to get closer. Boop. Bop. Straight into the spin. Now he's probably gonna be able to dodge, so we're gonna have to be careful. He missed that. Wasn't able to punish him for it. Boop. Still hit him with that. Oh, oh, press the wrong button. He missed. Oh, he missed all of them. Okay, block broke me with that. Didn't know it was off cooldown. Messed up his combo. Gonna punish him for that. Whoa, knocked him further back. All good, I guess. Gonna back up and I'm gonna heal a little bit. Boop. Come in with that. Spin. Finish him off. And bow. I ain't gonna lie. Pretty smooth. I did mess up the combo just a little bit a couple of times. But you guys get the point of it. It's actually pretty strong. It's pretty strong. So, take it with how you will. Very OP. Go get you the claws now. You know how to do it. All right. Uh, the only reason I'm going to another match is because I wanted to show you guys. Oh, damn. He has Agatsuma. I want to show you guys again. Against someone that has a really good clan. Ooh, he was managed to jump out of it, but he jumped back into it. Oh, I didn't punish him for that. I sold there. Blocked that, but I should be far enough away. No, I'm not. Perfect blocked him. Perfect blocked him. And then punished him for it. Let's go! Ooh, he dodged that. Damn, I could have sworn I moved out the way. Pretty big hitbox on that. Gonna be able to punish him for that. Boom. Eat. He's gonna spawn somewhere here. So I'm gonna heal here. And he's glitched. Oh. How's he glitched, bruh? Oh. Bro. Yeah, I did a combo properly that time, so that's pretty GG. Um, hey, I'm telling y'all, it's really good. Be a demon. I recommend having Kamado. If you don't have Kamado, get the straw hat. You need the straw hat when you become a demon, or you're just going to burn in the sun. Kamado or straw hat. Good luck, y'all, boys. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you in the next one.